It is a pleasure to have a few moments to share with you news of the Yukon School of Social Work. I hope that your summer was restorative and enjoyable as we hopefully emerge from the worst of the pandemic. We recently welcomed our newest cohorts of BSW, MSW, and PhD students to this next academic year. This year is particularly exciting as we will be celebrating the 75th anniversary of the School of Social Work throughout the year with a culminating celebration in the spring. I recently had the pleasure of talking with an alum from the very first graduating class in 1948. She relayed many fond memories of the school and of those who influenced her early development as a social worker. I am sure you all have those stories too. As a longtime faculty member at the school, I certainly have great appreciation of those who came before me and who have influenced thousands of alumni. We had a number of faculty and staff changes over the course of the year. We welcomed our new associate dean, Jennifer Manuel, who comes to us from New York University, and new faculty member, Dr. Joy Lerman, to the BSW program. We also welcomed three new field education coordinators, new director of the Office of Academic Services, a grants and contracts specialist, a director of publicity and marketing, a finance and administration director, and a new financial assistant. So there is a good buzz around the building and we were all excited as we moved through the fall semester with renewed energy and commitment. We completed our School of Social Work strategic plan last year with a focus in five areas, diversity, equity, inclusion, and anti-racism, inclusive and impactful research and scholarship, student-centered teaching and learning, flexible and forward-looking field education, and emerging areas of excellence in social work. Diversity work is the theme that runs through each of these efforts, and the faculty and staff have made a commitment to monthly discussions on how to address racism and inequities as they arrive among us and our community. Ongoing programs and lectures will support these efforts. I'd like to highlight a few of the exciting events and initiatives at the school this year. We will celebrate the 20th anniversary of the PhD program this fall by bringing together faculty, staff, alumni, current students, and donors, all of whom have contributed to the success of our program. And I am happy to report that you have graduated from a School of Social Work ranked in the top 12% nationally and as number one in the state of Connecticut, according to the US News and World Report. This year, due to the generosity of a donor, we will welcome our first cohort of Scholars in Aging. Eight students interested in social work with older adults will receive stipends for their work in area agencies that serve this population. With this donor support, we are also providing additional groups of revision for the cohort as a group. This remote meeting format will allow students to learn from each other about the full continuum of care for older adults. We will supplement this with relevant programs and lectures, preparing our graduates to work in this important and growing area in social work. We have 325 students placed in 164 agencies, and we added 26 new agencies this year. Many of you serve as field instructors, one of the most critical roles in a student's education. We've increased our presence in schools where the demand for social work services has skyrocketed. We also completed our Spanish-speaking BSW pilot program in collaboration with the Connecticut Department of Children and Families. It was wildly successful, and we have doubled the number of students placed in that field placement program for this year. We aim to address this vital workforce need in the state. We continue to grow our research hubs with the Connecticut Departments of Children and Families, Mental Health and Addiction Services, and the Office of Early Childhood. This is high impact research, which informs practice across the state and nation with our communities. Our faculty has over $20 million in grant activity. Dr. Christina Wilson has been named the editor-in-chief of the oldest social work journal in the country, Families and Society. This gives the school national prominence and an important voice. 
All of this happens in the context of a challenging world and social context. Between the residual effects of the pandemic, the exacerbation of structural inequities that influence the day-to-day well-being of many of our communities, as well as their futures, the challenges for our profession are greater than ever. Our faculty are working tirelessly on issues such as immigrant and refugees resettlement, environmental impacts on communities of color, human rights across the globe and at home, youth violence prevention, child well-being, research and services from early childhood throughout young adulthood, anti-racism and pedagogical practices. Our students continue to challenge us and each other to live our commitment to social work values at the same time that they struggle with many of the contextual challenges I've noted. This helps us to double down on our commitment to educate this new generation of social workers. I am so grateful to those of you who have served as mentors, field instructors, supervisors, and adjunct teachers. You, our alum, are wonderful role models for them. I thank you. Please watch for more information about the 75th anniversary events, our $75 for 75 years donation opportunity, where you can make a gift in honor of someone who has been meaningful in your development as a social worker. We also invite you to join the various online programs that we offer at the school or through the Alumni Association, attend our continuing education programs, or become a mentor. Best of all, if you've not been to our downtown location yet, come and visit. We would love to welcome you. Thank you.